Hello, fat fans. Welcome to the Beastie World. Let's talk boxing, guys. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk about if you are Jagba Snell's opponent and who we all want to see him fight next. You know, we all have witches, you know. And looking at the Ajabba's fight against Michael Vallish, I have to say that Ajabba has improved a lot and Steve very much has a lot to give and to offer. I actually think that uh, he can beat some very credible contenders right now. Guys like um, Christian Am, Charles Martin, maybe Eric Molina as well. I think he can do that. So, looking at his performance against Michael Vallish, you know, I was one of those guys that said Michael Vallish will give a job of hell. You know, I cannot lie about that, man. But I said that because Michael Vallish is a very tricky boxer, you know. And he's a guy that's very tricky, got a lot of skills, knows how to move, knows how to throw the jab, you know, knows how to use some tricks, knows how to lure his opponent in and try to use against against him. He actually did that, you know, with uh, Chris and Amu. So I was just surprised that when he fought the Jack, but he went in there trying to prove himself, trying to compete, go toe to toe with an Andre Nightmare man. I think that was a bad strategy but hey he thought maybe that, that he has a chance you know he thought maybe he could go there and try to take a job out <laughs> man 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 I love him Chinese man but you know he couldn't do that Ajaba was just too smart was just too good Ajaba actually showed me some things that I haven't seen from him you know here he's a guy that seems to be you know, improving every time, every day. You know, working on his keys, working on how to use his jab, working on how to control his opponent on the outside, working on how to throw some slicky, unpredictable uppercut, working on so many stuff. And I'm so amazed and impressed by Ajabba's performance. And I believe that him going against Christian Ama in a gladiatorial clutch would be very good. Uh, we all know who Christian Amman is, you know, he's lost to Tyson Fury before, you know, he beat David Price, knocked him out, and he's a guy that has 24 wins, 14 via knockouts, all he has is losses on his record, you know, born in Galati, Romania, and resides at Hamburg, Germany. A guy who has a very good boxing um, skills and also has a lot of experience. And he has a lot to give. He can give you hell. Christian Armour is not a guy that is so easy to beat. His last fight against Luis Otis, we also had Luis Otis struggle with him. A guy Tassi Fury stopped. But Luis Kinga Otis struggled with Christian Armour. So, Christian Amma took King Kong Otis or Kitty Kong Otis to distance. So, Christian Amma, you know, has only been knocked out three times. He has six losses and three of them were by knockout. You know, and uh, stopped by Tyson Fury, killed by Marius Wack. And as well by Robert Grego on his pro debut. You know, he made his pro debut in 2008. So just looking at the styles, you know, I think Ajaba can do very, very well, you know, against Christian Hammer. And uh, I recently watched an interview of Ajaba saying that, well, it's time for him to get some, some rounds in, you know. He wants to get some rounds in, you know, he wants to um, go to distance with someone, maybe for, maybe for like, for example, go to eight or nine rounds, you know, he just want to try himself, see how his stamina we, we endure, how he can control his stamina, because last night against uh, 
Michael Vallis, he actually threw a lot of punches in the first round. You know, a lot of punches in the first round, like a lot of combinations. I mean, I'm so impressed with Ajak, but I think that right now he's the best ever with Prosper. Better than Tony Yoko. Better than uh, Daniel Dubois. Yeah, you might argue that Daniel Dubois is still 21 years old and still has a lot to learn, but Ajak by himself is 25 years old. But the difference is that Ajakba has been in so many competitions, you know, he's competed in the African Games before, also at the Rio Olympics, you know, he's represented Nigeria so well, and I think uh, he's got a bright future ahead, all he needs is just to stay consistent, you know, um, always stay active, always fight. And I've heard the rumors that he will be coming out again in June. I would have loved to see him fight on the water Brazil on the card. You know, that would have actually given him, you know, recognition and popularity. Which he definitely needs right now because in boxing, you know, no time to wait. There's no time to wait. If you have the, the ability, the capacity, the capability to excel the next level, just go for it. No need to say, well, let me be patient first and see how it plays out. You know, just go for it, man. Go for it. Win that fight. Knock people out, you know. So, Christian Hama has actually been in there with some good fighters. You know, he's also a little, also has, you know, some good wins on his record as well. You know, yeah, he lost his, you know, pro debut to Robert Gregor, but won second fight against uh, Nikolai Marinov third fight against Alexander Borov Jevnys Stambrukis Hans Jog Blasko Remiglus I can't pronounce those names sorry guys Marcos Tomala Zelda Usai lost to Marius Wach and lost to uh, Teras Bidenko Okay, then came back again with a bang against Pavel's Dogovs and then fought Pavel Polakovic, Seda Osal again, I guess, Alexander Dakar, Daniel Williams, Danny Williams, I know Danny Williams, interesting, or oh, Alex Markskin, Leif Larson, Kevin Johnson. He went to the center with Kevin Johnson, couldn't knock him out. I mean, <laughs> nobody can even knock Kevin Johnson out, guys. I mean, that Kevin Johnson guy, only Joshua has, has managed to knock him out clean. Like, stop him. The ball couldn't stop him. I mean, if uh, a jump by decides to fight Kevin Johnson next, then we can actually major his talent where, you know, where he ranks. Um, in a in this, let's say in the rank of uh, the prospect right now, like Tony Yoka, guys like Joe Joyce, guys like Daniel Dubois, you know, guys like Rafael Akbajori. I know you guys don't know who Rafael Akbajori is. A lot of people don't know, but you still know the name, man. He's my drum monster. Who's an S basketball player coming to the game very soon to destroy the every division. And also, let's not forget the Godzilla. Or not your day, what do you mean? I'm gonna do a video about that as well, you know. His next fight will be against Rodney and others. The guy that gave Ajabba hell. <laughs> Took all Ajabba's punches. Ajabba nearly... Ajabba even talked about that. That guy took all his punches. Kept coming, kept coming. You know, this guy was full of... Feed up, feed up with blood and everything. But he kept coming, kept fighting. You know. And uh, until it got stopped, you know, Boston is a short-term career. You don't want to just damage a career like that. Taking punches from a Jagba who is a monster. You know, a Jagba's right hand is very impressive, I must say. You know, he's got that bazooka in his right hand. And also, his left hand, left hook, is also very effective. So, uh, Christian Hammond has been in there with Alexander Povetkin. We all know that. Went to distance. You know, then fought uh, Tony Tonic Purashasville. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
then fought Michael Vallis, the guy Ajabba knocked out, and then fought Luis Otis. I mean, you know, he did quite well. He has a very good resume. And I think if Ajabba fights his goodness, it's going to be, you know, very good for him. Stylistically, if you need someone that can take it a distance, I think uh, this guy, Christian Armour, can do that. If Ajabba is willing to looking for someone he can go to distance with. Uh, but I don't know if um, Christian Hammer can take Ajabba's uh, punches. You know, Ajabba has some hammer, man, you know, in his hands. And I think he will do some damage um, in the future. And also, I have to give props to Ronnie Cheats. You know, I think he's, he's tried so far. And I've seen I've seen some some improvement in Ajabba's um punch output you know how he controls someone with a jab you know how was expecting a jab to just go in a rush you know rush and try to knock um Mikey Valish out but he didn't do that stayed cool stayed calm and was waiting for the right moment to take you know an advantage while then the boy against Richard Latte tried to just overpower Richard Latte in the first round but that didn't work out well so all those guys, all these prospects, they have some huge future, you know, man. And they've got to manage the world. They just need some exposure, you know. I'm, I'm not saying that Ahimel can't do the, the, the job. Ahimel is an advisor, yeah. He's got this, this deal, he's got this connection and everything, man. You know, but I still think that if you're a jugba, I need some more exposure. But I'm just going to see... Um, and wait and see how it plays out um, I think him being active will help him in the future he says that he want to become the everweight champion I don't know when that will be he says in two years time he would like to challenge for the everweight championship uh, but that depends on his promotion like I always said these uh, boxing politics people are playing right now it's just crazy we still haven't seen you until water want to step up against Joshua yet? So, how do you think we'll see a Jabba step up, man? Um, but hey, everyone everyone has their own destiny, right? And Jabba, he is doing his job, doing the work, you know, in the ring, putting up great performances. And like I said, if a Jabba continue like this, he's got some great, great future and bright future you know ahead all the thing he has to do is to try um know how to approach people like know how to be professional during his interviews you know or maybe he needs uh, an interpreter like uh if you about you you know because there are some things he say which are a little bit contradictory maybe he meant in a, diff in a different way, but hey, you know, media always takes things um, serious, so he's got to be very careful with all these uh, presenters and interviewers coming at him, had asking him questions, you know, they all want some controversy to sell, you know, I need money, man. So uh, Joe was going to be careful for that. But other than that, he's got a great future ahead. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Ajabba will be out next in June, according to what I've heard so far. So, wish the guy good luck. Good luck to my ninja brother. Too much. We did your back. So, guys, go um, follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. And also, stay tuned. I need to do um, something about. Another another warime against uh, Rodney and Anades. That fight will be, will be brutal. I want to break it down and see how it goes. Stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, and as well on Twitter at Boxing Block. DM me, write me, talk shit about me. Give me compliments. It's all good. Every opinion matters, you know. But I don't condone insults, you know what I mean? So you can write me and say shit, all good. 
for insults it's not really that nice try to keep it professional you know thanks guys catch you the next one stay tuned